Hey, what's up guys? DJ Dice Mobile Nightlife in Tustin, and today I want to talk to you a little about balanced and unbalanced inputs. Uh, I've run into a couple different people that have uh, told me about how they hook up their mixer to their monitor speakers using one of these babies. And actually, um, what they're doing is they're hooking this side, the RCA side, which is a unbalanced uh, stereo in output from the mixer over to their single monitor with uh, this stereo output. You know, they use one of these cables. This is generally called a uh, eighth inch to RCA uh, Y cable. And what they do is they take one of these eighth inch to quarter adapter and they plug this side into their monitor. Now the issue with the monitor thing is the monitor is not expecting to get put in a stereo unbalanced input into itself. It's looking for a mono balanced input. All right, so right here we've got a pair of XLR cables. This is technically a DMX cable, but uh, I'll talk about that difference in a different video. Um, this is called a balanced XLR cable. And what it's doing is it's got three connections that it makes from the mixer into your speaker. And sometimes the other end, if your speaker accepts them, looks kind of something more like this. Is you have to kind of understand the anatomy of the cable. I'm going to go ahead and post up a picture from Wikipedia, but this is what it looks like. So on the inside, there's three different conductors. The one that carries the signal, the one that carries an inverted signal, and then the shielding that, that uh, grounds the piece of equipment. So what you have is the blue cable that sends a signal and the red cable that sends the inversion of that signal. And you're able to run this without worrying about electromagnetic impulses or, you know, we call that noise. Basically, um, say for instance, if you run it right by a speaker, um, you know, your, your speakers have a uh, voice coil like with a magnets, magnets and uh, electricity running through it, right? Um, and if that bleeds over into your wire, like say for instance, so for some ungodly reason, you left your cable sitting right underneath the speaker, blue signal and the red signals are affected uh, identically because they're identical cables. They're sending identical signals, except one is inverted. And um, so uh, you get the same noise onto the same cable. But when, um, when it reaches the component that you're trying to send the signal to, in this case, we're sending it to a monitor speaker, right? The red signal, uh, which is the inverted signal, is going to get re-inverted again. So it's going to be identical to the blue signal. And, and what you could do is you could add those two signals together to make a louder signal. And then secondly, the uh, noise that happened against the blue and red earlier is going to get inverted. Now now you have noise you know, that's inverted uh, um, on itself when the red one's re-inverted. And uh, those two, in physics, it's called uh, destructive waves. But basically, they cancel each other out. So this is really the reason why the XLR cable was created. I'm sure you guys have been to concerts where, like, you know, there's a microphone and you plug it in, it goes in a stage box, and then the stage box delivers, you know, the audio to the opposite side of the, the auditorium. There's a lot of opportunities for uh, the signal to get all screwed up. Like, you know, we're talking, I don't know, like... Uh, like thousand foot runs of a, of a cable signal. In, or, in order to make it resilient to, to uh, electromagnetic induction, um, they created this, this cable to, to kind of like intelligently uh, cancel the, the induction out. So that's the anatomy of the balance cable. And uh, if your ends look like this, as opposed to the XLR end, this one's going to be your blue signal, which is the signal. This is the red wire, which is the uh, um, inverted signal. And this one's gonna be your shielding. But in the unbalanced world, which is the case for this cable right here, RCA to a uh, quarter inch, this is the signal to your left channel. This is the signal to your right channel. And this is the shielding. So what's happening is when you send um, the signal from your mixer, out to your monitor, uh, your monitor is inter like listening to this signal and says, oh great, signal. But, um, and then takes this one, which is supposed to be the signal for the right channel, 
thinks that it's an inversion of this, so inverts that signal and adds these two together. Now, just like the noise um, that was identical, if these two signals are identical, um, or uh, mostly identical with uh, um, just a few uh, stereo effects like say reverbs are generally done in a stereo pattern or uh, you know ping ponging effects or whatever um, those are going to be the differentials that will ring out from from that process of of uh, inverting you know the the uh, signal here but so basically everything that's on the stereo spectrum is going to be heard and everything that's dead center which is identical between the two cables you're not going to be able to hear on the speaker because the speaker thinks that it's noise that's the reason why if you connect your monitor from your mixer this way it sounds like it's playing sounds uh, from like the other side of a canyon or something like you hear reverbs and you hear uh, things that are kind of like in a ping-pong uh, effect but you don't hear vocals sometimes you know you only hear like the echoes of the vocals you don't hear the vocals itself <laughs> or like you know the echoes of uh, keyboard lines or or things like that is the fact that you're plugging in an unbalanced input into a balanced situation where uh, basically you're inverting and you're knocking sound out so I hope uh, that explanation really helps you understand um, the difference between balanced and unbalanced. If you guys are having that problem of hooking up your one monitor speaker to your mixer, uh, I hope this uh, helps you solve that problem. Alright guys, take care. Um, hope to do a video again soon.